Hello, today I'm going to address an issue with the uh, Windows updates not working. Uh, I've addressed this one in another video, but uh, there's several reasons why Windows updates won't work. So let's take a look at one today. So I'm going to the Windows and then button, and then I'm going to All Programs and Windows Update is right there. And as you can see, um, you know, it's not working. It says I got this red shield on here so we'll go check for updates and it says windows updates cannot currently check for updates because the service is not running you may need to restart your computer okay so let's go check the services of which there are uh, two i believe that it's dependent on one is uh, background intelligent update service and the other one is windows update service so let's go and if you didn't see what I did there, just go to Computer, right-click, and choose Manage. And when you hit Manage, you'll end up in the Computer Management uh, screen. And then we're going to go down here to Services, or Services and Applications, and Services. <clears throat> okay, so let me make this full screen here. Background Intelligence Services, well, it's there, and it started, and it's running. So... We're not going to worry about that. That service is okay. Let's go down and see Windows Update. And this is all alphabetical. So Windows Update should be here somewhere. But it's not. I'm missing the Windows Update service. And a lot of people have been telling me that on, the, on my other video that they, they go to see this service and it's not there. Well, that would explain why your Windows Update isn't working. Okay, so let's go and fix that. Okay, you fix that by going to get a tool from Microsoft, and I'll provide you the link for it on, uh, uh, on the description, but we'll go to it here. And... right here and it's called the Microsoft fix it 50202.msi so I'm going to save that file and the file is now in, uh, downloaded and ready to go so let's go here And as you can see, uh, do you want to run this file? And yes, of course we want to run this file. Let's get rid of the browser. Okay, and it's a Microsoft Fix-It file, so I'm going to go Agree. Then I'm going to click on Next. And then you have an option to run Aggressive Options and Not Recommended, so I'm going to go with that. Let's I'm, leave that unchecked. Click Next. Then uh, Microsoft Fixit 50202 creates a restore point. Reason it does that is in case you want to go back to the way the computer was prior to it uh, being fixed uh, for whatever reason. Okay, my user account control, which you probably can't see on the video, has come up and asked me, "Do you want to allow the following program to install to install software on the computer?" Answer is yes. Okay, so it's going through an installation process of some type. Now, if this has happened to you, you have to ask yourself, why has it happened? Okay, the program is finished. At this point, you can just close it if you wouldn't give them feedback if you want to. Okay, so I'm just going to close that off. And then it says you you must restart your uh, your system for the configuration changes to you know take place. So we could do that, but I'm just going to say no to it right now because um, I know that it probably has fixed the issue anyway. Um, but you should restart. But I'm not restarting because I'm making a video and it would split it in half. So I'm just saying no. And then we're going to go back to computer. Uh, right click and choose manage 
and down to services okay now I'm going to put this full screen here and expand the tab a little bit and now you see the Windows Update service is back so that tool just put that service back in there so it fixed it so and it's started and running on automatic so every time you start the computer this that service will start let's go check Windows Update and look at that it's back to green with a check mark let's check for updates just to make sure okay and while it's doing that I want to um, I want you to ask yourself a few questions how you know something messed up this computer something went into the system and corrupted the software on this machine now that could just happen because of a program crash or some sort of anomaly or it could happen because you got a virus some anti uh, some some spyware type or some malware type so I would suggest and I'm gonna put the links here um, for for these that you install at, at least have a current version of a good virus checker I I suggest the vast as you can see I'm using it it's free uh, register you, you have to register it after 30 days but that's also free and then after that it's good for 365 days and it updates itself and it is, it's quite good at uh, removing viruses um, then I would suggest run a malware program like malware bytes anti malware and run a spy bot uh, search and destroy to get rid of any spyware in each case I have a video for every one of those steps okay so basically yes this will fix your machine but are you sure your machine is actually free of viruses and, and, and contamination well I would make sure and follow my other videos that show you how to do complete scans of your computer and make sure to make sure that this doesn't happen to you again okay that's my uh, little video on fixing uh, Windows updates have a great day oh uh, one more thing I need to say um, I've only tested this fix on Windows 7 okay uh, whether it works on other versions of Windows I don't know it's up to you and you're on your own on that because I don't have other versions of Windows I only have this one once again thanks for watching